All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I got something cool for you guys. It is putting a ceramic coating on our floor mats. And you're probably thinking, why on earth would I wanna do that? Well, with age, they tend to gray out. They tend to be harder to clean, require more scrubbing. I don't want any extra work. So we're gonna be using a product, black, you guys know I've already done this a few times with different stuff. The floor mats is another awesome thing for it. What makes it so cool is it has a black dye in it. It brings the black back. It also puts a nice protective UV coating on there and it makes it super easy to clean and it's no slipperiness whatsoever. If you use normal tire dressings or anything like that, whoo, boy, you're out of there. <laughs> but this stuff is no slip whatsoever. So let's get started. So there it is in the Model 3, we got those stepped on, dirty foot printed up floor mats that are starting to gray out. Look at them, they're just not that black that we want anymore. I want these things looking brand new. <laughs> I do. So let's get them out of the car, trying not to dump everything out onto the carpet. And today we're gonna be using an all-purpose cleaner. I like to use Super Clean for these projects. This will be a three ounces into the Press-All bottle, which is an eight to one dilution ratio. Today we're gonna to be using distilled water so that we don't have any spotting on future projects. So we'll just top that off, put the sprayer head on, and I'll tell you what, these bottles are working out amazing. I'm gonna get into these a little deeper in the future, but what a good bottle. So we'll start out with a pre-rinse. I wanna blow everything off the mat to try to make the job as easy as possible. That's why we buy all these cool tools, is to help out. And yes, some people would argue to say, oh, there's water on there, so it's diluting it even more. It doesn't matter, it's gonna work out great. So we hit it with the all-purpose cleaner. Follow up with the drill brush. Again, I wanna use the tools I have. You can use a manual agitation process with a wheel brush or, or a similar uh, stiff bristle brush. But if you have the tool, use it. That's what I always say, right? Try to make it easy on yourself. Now you'll see as we use the pressure washer to blow all that off, it's really clean underneath. Um, the trouble is, is it's still gonna be grayed out and we wanna get rid of that. So now we're gonna follow up with the Master Blaster Sidekick. This is a cool little tool. It has good blow force out of the front. It's heated air and it's gonna do a great job drying this mat up 100% because in order to apply this product, we need it to be squeaky clean with no protection on it whatsoever, just raw material and we need it really dry. So that's why we did what we did. Okay, now we'll bring it back into the garage. We'll load the applicator up with product and you'll see me working it from top to bottom. Now I normally wouldn't do a 50-50 like this. Think about applying products like this, like painting. You wanna start with the wet edge and work it all the way across the wall. That way you don't have any dried overlapping areas where you're gonna be able to tell the difference. Um, if you keep moving across the, the product all the way across the mat, you, you'll have no line in the middle. We don't want a line. A line is bad, but I wanted to show you this um, so that you could see the difference here. And there you go, there's your 50-50. It looks amazing. It's still wet on the left, but it's gonna dry up soon. And you can see how much deeper black it is and just all in all, just looks way better. Now we'll work it into the other side. You'll see here that, again, I'm working at top to bottom. I'm using this application tool to get down inside the cracks and crevices. Put just enough product on there to get a nice, consistent, uh, layer on the top. You can always come back and do a second coat, but if you put too much on, it's, it, you're not gonna be able to get it off. Again, this is durable stuff. Now let's watch it as the paint dries. <laughs> but you can see it kind of matting out a little bit. It's not super shiny. And here we go, the before, all foot printed up, got a gray tone to it. I don't like that. And bam, back to brand new again. Got a small shine to it, but a deep, rich, black look to it. It's gonna be easy to clean, it's gonna look great. That's all we're interested in. Easy, looks great, and whatever other four, five, and six you wanna put on there. <laughs> but all around, a great deal. So that about wraps it up. Let me know down in the comments. How do you deal with your floor mats? What are you using to keep them looking nice and easy to clean? Uh, I'm interested and everybody else is always interested too. I'll leave links down in the description to all these products so you don't have to try to figure out what they are. And you know it helps the channel and I appreciate that too, that's awesome. And if you haven't subscribed, there's the button, like it. Everything you can do to help the channel, I always appreciate it, you know I do. And this stuff worked amazing. Ah, yeah, that stuff's awesome. We'll see you on the next one, yeah.